Good morning. Good morning. Well, good Monday morning. Today's devotional scripture will be coming from Second Peter. No, excuse me. First Peter, chapter two, and I'll begin reading from verses four through ten. And it reads as follows. To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious, ye also as lively stones are built up a precious spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices, acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore, also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay at Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which is the builder disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even unto them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye shall show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past was not a people, but are now the people of God, which has not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy, the word of God for the people of God. And I'm going to agree with the title in that Bible. Christ is our foundation. Why is he our foundation? Because he is the chosen of God and he is precious. Yes, man disallowed him or dis rejected him as if he was nobody, but he was and is the precious chief cornerstone of God's holy nation of people as he is the chosen of God. And we who believe in Jesus Christ and have accepted him as our personal savior are lively stones that are part of God's spiritual house, a holy nation that we will offer up spiritual sacrifices that is acceptable to God. And that is through holy living, being obedient to God's word, as it is our roadmap, how to live holy like our Savior. And you know, it says this in verse 8, a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word. And it coincides with what our previous statement was, that yes, Many in the world rejected Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world, who is the Son of God. And his sole purpose for coming to earth was to save mankind from his sin. To Jesus Christ as was the only one found worthy to pay a, a debt that he did not owe. Be blessed.
Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior if you have not. And all of us who have accepted him live so that the world will know that we are God's holy nation of peculiar people. God loves you and so do I. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us get to at least 4,000. The ultimate goal is to get to 4 million in the years to come. We are working one day at a time, one subscriber at a time. As we doing all we can, we Shepherd Ministries Baptist Church to spread the word of God so that all men who hear will be saved. Have a blessed day.